Hi, Melissa from Muscle and Coffee. So you want to compete and today I'm going to be talking specifically about uh, Editor Melissa here. So sorry for this interruption. Um, this is just a gentle reminder because I've forgotten that um, you need to please like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment in the comment section. It really helps. So yeah, I've kind of forgotten. So you're going to see me popping into a video every now and again. So just a reminder, editor Melissa over here. So please like, comment and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thanks and back to the video. Physique type competition. So what is important to note is that not every federation has the same goals and not every federation even has the same categories and the same requirements. So the criteria generally is similar but there are differences because sometimes there are certain there are certain federations that prefer a more conditioned look where while there are certain federations that prefer size I don't want to say size over conditioning but size is a definite factor so you will find that if you have two athletes and the one is considerably bigger than the other one um, they will go in the direction of the bigger athlete so then also you must realize that in the in the physique sport they are it is not like when you are playing a sport like tennis or rugby or soccer or something where you can objectively measure the score or if you are running a race, for example, the guy that finishes first, that's the winner. The person with the most points, that's the winner. Because that is objectively, you can see they all start at the same time and whoever finishes first is the winner. Or whoever gets the most points and has the most accuracy, that is the winner. But when it comes to physique sports, it's quite different because there are different criteria. There are different judges and that's why you have a number of judges and then the, they go through the different criteria so maybe they will look at leanness and they'll look at muscularity and they'll look at balance and they'll look at symmetry and they'll look at the routine or maybe they won't look at the routine at all or they'll look at the costume or maybe they don't care about the costume and even within the 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 federation themselves the way women are judged versus the way men are judged is also very different and you will find that what has happened in time is that a while long uh decades ago you had bodybuilding that was it then you had bodybuilding and fitness and then that was it and then it was still the men just had bodybuilding and then the women had bodybuilding and fitness and then the women had bodybuilding fitness and bikini and then they had physique and now they have wellness and now they have all of these other different categories and they have different people have then their figure then their performance figure and then in the men they have men's physique and then they have muscle model and then they have all of these different categories so the criteria has changed and it has also become more inclusive and there are more categories but sometimes there is overlap or you may find that the judges are not evolving as fast as the criteria and obviously people are human as you say only human so people have their own their own individual preferences so you may find that for one person you meet the one judge you meet the criteria and another judge you don't meet the criteria at all or they are different they may be different rounds so there may be a routine round there may be a symmetry round there may be a posing round or compulsory round or round or there's a what is it a theme round so you need to know what people are looking for number one number two you need to also know well in advance whether you are going to compete or not because losing fat is not an easy thing building muscle is definitely not an easy thing and then you also need to know what your weaknesses are you need to have you need to go to somebody who knows or you need to speak to or have an objective person look at you and then say this is a strength this is this is a weakness you need to work on this this is the side is bigger than that side or whatever the case may be so you may also find sometimes your physique is not it's not conducive to you doing well or maybe you will find that you cannot it's it's just you don't you don't have the structure for it some people cannot put on a lot of size some people cannot 
get down to the very low body fat levels especially if you are doing it naturally and when i say naturally i mean without any performance enhancing supplements or, or substances or anything like that so also you may see psychologically it could be very taxing if somebody says to you okay you are weigh x amount you need to diet for 20 weeks so obviously you won't go hardcore from 20 weeks but you will need to start eliminating things from your diet dropping your calories etc etc and i mean it can be very restrictive and not everybody has the psychological capacity the strength to actually stick to something that can be so bland and so boring because that is generally what is the common practice because the more bland and the more boring the foods are you seem to have better control over what is going in your mouth and especially if you are not every country has access to every different kind of food and i mean some things are very expensive so you may not be able to have a very varied diet because i know for me when i started and i tried bodybuilding i know when you look at me you're like oh this girl is tiny but i found the diet to be extremely restrictive everything was either white or green or brown and i mean i even got to a point where there were certain kinds of food like for example tuna i couldn't keep it down I got violently ill and it was just it became it was just it was just too much for me I just couldn't psychologically I couldn't do it because you're trying to diet you're trying to be a productive member in society you're still trying to you're doing your job and you need to be mentally you need to have your mental acuity and your faculties and everything going with you and you can't be miserable the whole time so you need to decide so what I did was in my federation that I was I could transition from bodybuilding to physique now physique for my federation that i was a part of is different to the physique that you are now seeing in the different federations so that's why you need to investigate you need to find out what the requirements are when the competitions are and you need to work on a budget because you cannot just roll out of bed and decide i'm going to do this i'm going to do that there's a lot of preparation even for example your skin your skin is very important it's the first thing that people are seeing because i mean spoiler alert that goes over your muscles and you need to be looking at your tan and you cannot be not be groomed so there's a lot of things that need to be considered so i'm not saying it's impossible i'm saying it is completely possible but you need to just be realistic know who your federations are know which category you want to do know when the what the criteria criteria are and know how much time you have and what things are going to cost because i know like especially for ladies suits and things are expensive it's suits it's hair it's nails it's jewelry it's makeup it's tan it's waxing it's whatever so shoes everything so yes just be mindful you can you can do it just go in with your eyes open because not everybody can win and that is i don't know i don't know how else to put it not everybody can win and if you want to go so i'm not saying don't try to win try and win try to better your previous performance do your best but i mean if you don't win don't become despondent because yeah not everybody can win sometimes the journey in itself is rewarding and there are many people that are not they're not winning shows but they are finding that they are getting the rewards in other ways so for instance they may be becoming role models they may be have decided to leave their jobs and become training trainers because training is so important helping people to sculpt their bodies and get control over their bodies is something that is out of reach for a lot of people and i mean it's very rewarding to be able to help somebody with that so i didn't want to make this too long but just make sure know your federations let me just come back know your federations know the criteria know the categories know what you need know when the shows are and then just plan and enjoy the ride if you stumble with the diet or the training it happens it gets easier with time and until the next video bye